Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, fix your lags and stutter in Roblox. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started without wasting any more time. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and over here go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off since the game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM usage in the background. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background helping you to improve your PC's performance. Right beneath that, you will find graphic settings. Click on to that and then click on change default graphic settings and here enable both hardware accelerator GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. As both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and optimize your games if you're playing them on windowed mode. After that go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of Roblox. To search that you can simply look up for Roblox player and then click on open file location. Then right click on your Roblox player and then click on open file location once again. Simply copy this file directory and then click on the browse button again. Paste this file directory and then add Roblox player beta.exe. Click on add and then head over to its options. Select high performance so it utilizes your GPU to render the game and after that click on save. Step number two is local group policy editor and this will only be available for Windows Pro users. Simply look up for a local group policy and over here you have to maximize this window and then drag it so you can see everything. Head over to computer configuration and then click on administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and you'll find let windows apps run in the background. You have to double click to open this thing up and then make sure to enable this policy. After that head down to default for all applications and then set this thing to force deny. This will make sure that no application are running in the background and consuming your PC's resources while you play your game and this will help you to improve your PC's performance and your FPS drastically. Step number three is MS config and for that simply search for MS config on your PC and open up system configuration. Once you're here go over to the boot section and then click on advanced options. Then click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available in this list. Click on ok and then click on apply and this will make sure that you are using the maximum number of processors while you boot your PC. After that, head over to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Then you have to disable all unnecessary services like Adobe update service, browser update service, printer services if you don't use them, MySQL or any other services that you feel are not really important or you are not using them. If not, feel free to disable all of them. After that, click on exit without restart. Next tab is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance performance of windows and over here click on adjust for best performance then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window controls while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts these four things will help you to keep your windows look intact while disabling majority of the animations which can cause performance issues after that head down to the advanced settings over here and then click on the change button under the virtual memory click on deselect automatically manage paging file size and then select your local disk c click on the custom size and set this thing to 1 361 as it is the most optimal value I have found out. After that, open up your calculator and then multiply 1024 with your RAM. I use 32GB RAM and to know this, you can simply search for system information and then look for install physical memory over here. Simply multiply that and you'll get your MAM and then you'll get your memory in megabytes. Now you have to divide this value by 2 and the value that you get over here should be pasted in the maximum size. Click on set, click on OK and this will utilize your hardware storage as your RAM in case it is completely utilized. Once that is done, click on apply. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and all kind of network issues using no ping that you can download from the link in the description below. Once you open up this application, it offers you over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply search for Roblox over here and then click on select the server. Now you guys have to scroll down and look for the server which gives you the lowest amount of ping. For me, it will be Dubai 03 as it is giving me around 37 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on optimize this game and it will start one click optimizing the game real time. The best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games to reduce your input latency and a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable these settings, you can actually 
get a better FPS right away. So Noping is a one-stop shop solution for all of you guys and you can find a link to it down in the description below. You guys can consider buying it because I use it personally for myself and I have seen the improvement. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point over here and then look for a local disk C. Click on create and name it Roblox so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the Roblox FPS pack 2025. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can find it in 5 simple folders and blockstrap.exe right over here. Let's start with the first one that is the updated CPU priority where I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again if you have an AMD CPU you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority and if you have an Intel CPU you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. After that head over to the second folder which is RAM optimization where I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I use 32 GB RAM registry because I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC. You have to look for your RAM and then do it according to yourself and once again if that doesn't work out well you can always reset it back to default using this registry down over here. Third folder is the Roblox priority in which I have left the Roblox high priority and this will help you to utilize your CPUs and your GPUs maximum resources while optimizing your game to use it optimally. This will help you to improve your frames and reduce any kind of lags and stutter. Fourth one is the PC optimization in which I have left three batch files. The first one is BCD tweaks. You guys can edit them in notepad and see the changes that it is going to do on your PC. These three commands that you will run over here will help you to reduce your input latency and to run them you have to right click and run this as administrator. You have to do the same for both of them right over here and this will help you to disable memory compression reducing your CPU and RAM load. And third one is disable process mitigation which once again helps you to smoothen your PC's performance. Last and final is the programs folder where I have left unpack CPU. Since Roblox is a CPU dependent game you have to right click on this as administrator and this simple application will open right in front of you. Now what you guys are looking for over here is the core parking index which you have to slide it all the way up to 100%. Windows by default has this tendency to park the cores which are no longer in use to save energy and you don't want that while you're playing your games and sliding it up to 100% and clicking on apply will help you to enable all of these cores helping you to improve your game performance. Once that is done final step is block strap over here which you have to extract and open it up as administrator. This will give you a warning which means if you have been using block strap earlier you guys have to click on yes and then click on yes and it will upgrade it to the latest version. Then simply click on ok and block strap will open right in front of you. What you have to do is click on the configure settings button and here is the most important part. Under the integrations you will see enable activity tracking and over here you guys have to turn this thing on. After that scroll a bit down and you will find discord rich presence which you have to turn off. After that head over to bootstrapper and then disable all three of these over here. Once again if you are using the latest version for the first time enable force roblox reinstallation as it will update the game to the latest version. But if you have been using it consistently you don't have to do that. Head over to the mods tab over here and then you'll find the old death sound. You can keep it enabled. For the mouse cursor you guys can keep it default. Disable both of these settings over here and then go down to engine settings. This is the most important part over here and what you have to do is click on allow bootstrap to manage fast flags and then head over to anti-aliasing. Set this thing to 1x. Disable player shadows, disable post processing effects and terrain effects. You can keep all of them enabled to help you gain extra performance but you guys can disable these two and it will also help you and that won't be a big issue. For the frame rate limit you guys have to set it to 9999 and for the preferred lighting technology you guys can use voxel. Then you'll find preserve rendering quality with display scaling you guys have to keep it enabled and the rendering mode should be set to dx11. Texture quality should be set to 0 if you guys have a super low end PC but you guys can set it to 1 if you have a decent computer. Then disable both of these apps over here and then what you guys have to do is click on save. After that, you guys can close it, open up Blockstrap once again and then you guys can head over to launch Roblox. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 210,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. You can help me to reach that goal. Also, if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership if you want to see your name on the screen at the end credits just like them. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.